Kevin Durant, as we know, has came under a ridiculous amount of scrutiny from uh, numerous fans, most of which probably fans of Oklahoma City Thunder, but there's been a few familiar faces who have voiced their concerns about Kevin Durant moving from OKC to Golden State, and not naming a few names, but we're going to name both names, Reggie Miller and Charles Barkley. So Charles Barkley being the one who has been louder in his concerns over this, when I kind of thought he's someone that may have looked to... Uh, I don't know, assimilate with Kevin Durant, considering he's one of the best ever players to have never won a ring. But anyway, he's been voicing his concern quite a lot, and Kevin Durant actually, uh, for this interview that we're going to throw to, uh, answer back to Ke uh, Charles Barkley's comments on this. So let us know what you think of Kevin Durant's concerns. As a player and as a man, um, how, is, how have you evolved since this decision? I mean, you obviously knew you were going to take a lot of criticism, people were not going to like it. I mean, has that changed you at all? Have you evolved and grown from it Well, that's kind of crazy, because, I mean, I have, everywhere I've gone, I haven't... Nobody's really come up to me. And, and <laughs> These are the Reggie Millers of the world, right? Yeah, they're going to have to Like I said, I respect the hell out of them, too. I don't never say a bad word about them. They can say whatever they want about me. I chose to do something. I chose my own path. I did something that I wanted to do. And they, they had their careers. They did what they wanted to do. So I, I respect the hell out of Reggie Miller and Charles Barkley, great players, ambassadors, someone I look up to. So, you know, I, I can't control what they think and how they feel, or anybody else for that matter. And, you know, I'm excited about the future. Like, as a criticism, is it toughen you a little bit? I mean, you're going to have to have a thicker skin with that kind of stuff all year, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, just not even looking at that stuff, you know, but it's all about the game. You know, I step inside these lines. I know who I am. I know what I bring. I know, the le I, know I, I, I elevate, you know, players around me. I elevate their game. I listen. I work hard as I can. That's all that matters. Have you knew if you made this choice that there would be criticism? Did that come close at all to, to lead you to not do it? I mean, how much did you chew on that? that I, I thought about it, but... Uh, life when you make decisions based on everyone else, uh, you know, I, I think it's the wrong decision. I mean, I can't make a, a decision on my life because everybody else is going to be upset about it. And I, I, I just told myself to, you know, put me first and really think about what I wanted and this is what I wanted. So, you know, we'll see how, we'll see what happens. Does Ron give you any advice at all? I mean, I, you know, he, he did that whole hero to villain thing, right? I mean, have you talked to him at all about what that's going to be like? Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to experience everything the way I experience it. So I, like I said, I always think about the game of basketball. So if I focus on the game of basketball, I don't worry about if I'm a hero or a villain. Everywhere I go, I, you know, I've never, I haven't changed who I am. Nobody has changed you know, how they feel about me in person. You know? um, so I, just, I focus on the people that keep it positive and you know, uh, hold me accountable and push me to pass my limits. And, Life goes on at some point. All right, so a few things come to mind uh, when we're discussing Kevin Durant. Uh, if this was going forward, we've been over this. You can look at old clips. You know, our feelings on Kevin Durant, I want to, like, continue the conversation with this, though. So, for one, uh, Reggie Miller and Charles Barkley uh, don't have rings. Mm -hmm. And they stayed true to their teams. Reggie Miller, specifically with the Pacers, he was the one that went out and said... Uh, why they were asking some of these questions was he went out and try, he's trying to get cheap jewelry mm -hmm. for getting a championship. I don't think it's registered yet with Reggie Miller or Charles Barkley. I don't mean to call them out. I'm not trying to call them out. I just don't think it has registered in their minds that Kevin Durant does not give a flying fuck what they think. Mm -hmm. Like, And that's the end all be all of the conversation. He does not care if you think it's cheap jewelry. He doesn't care if you think that he made a weak move. Kevin Durant cares about what he wanted to do for his career, for his brand, for his name. First of all, he takes the high road in almost every single situation with the media since he's moved there. And this is the same media uh, in general who always, and I mean always, gives Kevin Durant the hardest of times. Remember, in one of the things that I forgot to bring up weeks ago was their own local newspaper, The Oklahoman, used to run headlines called Mr. Unreliable Kevin Durant? Mm -hmm. Question mark. Could he not do it? I mean, like, Kobe didn't get that kind of local paper press, negative press towards Kobe Bryant. Never. Never in the L.A. market. I shouldn't say never, but uh, hardly, as compared to what Durant received yeah. when playing with Westbrook, when playing with the Thunder. Those reasons aside, though, Reggie Miller and Charles Barkley have, I don't think, any effect on Kevin Durant. No. I think that's the real story here. Is Kate, if they're looking for a reaction out of him, they're not getting one. All Durant said was, 
I respect the hell out of Reggie Miller, man. Yeah. He did what he had to do for his career. He had he did what he had to do uh, for for his uh, as a basketball player, as a three point, all that stuff. And Charles Barkley, one of the greatest to never win a ring, you know. But I don't think he like the media seems to have picked up yet. Kevin Durant does not care about what they think. I think it, there was a part where it kind of stood out to me where he said that it it happens because Charles Barkley, Reggie Miller, uh, famous faces of the game, have a platform to say this from, and they right, mentioned right. the fact is that they don't agree with this decision, and therefore, because they're saying it, it holds more substance. When Kevin Durant admits that there's tons of people out there, regular fans who don't agree with his decision, of course. and it is it's not any more or less important because Charles Barkley or Reggie Miller believe it. There is people that are entitled to their opinion, but he stated that, one, he respects the hell out of them. He's not giving him, he's not giving the media the response that they probably want him be like, oh, fuck those guys, I don't care what they think. No, he respects these individuals and he respects that they are entitled to their own opinion, but as you clearly stated and we've stated all along, is he's doing what he thinks is best for his career. And the one point I wanted to bring up is, um, Charles Barkley in the past, we've heard his thoughts on LeBron, whether or not, putting aside the fact that he doesn't believe he's going to be in the top five of all time, but we've heard his thoughts on his move to Miami before uh, and then coming back to Cleveland. It's a general consensus that this title that LeBron James has won at Cleveland uh, bears larger in comparison to the ones he won at Miami Heat because many people made the same claims that LeBron going to Miami Heat was looking to just a fast track to winning a title, Rings, fast yeah. track to winning the ring. But do you not realize that if LeBron James didn't move to Miami, he wouldn't have won this title at Cleveland? Like, he, he made a decision for his career that he felt in that moment was the right decision to make. He got a ring, whether you believe it was, va it was worth it or not, whether you believe that, that it's tainted or not, he doesn't care. It allowed him to grow as a basketball player and allowed him to make decisions that he believed were right in his career and then, in a way, guided him back to his hometown and allowed him to piece together a team that he felt would be worthy of winning a championship. So these decisions will sculpt the decision of Kevin Durant in the future. Yeah, he's moved to Golden State at this moment in time. But just because you don't think that that's the right decision for him, he's got his own plan set out in his mind. He might, for all we know, he could be thinking about going to Golden State, then moving on to another team, winning a ring, and then moving back and trying to help that team go forward and win a ring because these decisions, we look at it far too often just through the spotlight of one season. All right, he's going to go there right now. He's going to win this ring and all of a sudden it's just going to be forgotten about. But Kevin Durant might have a larger plan that none of us really realize. But we just look well, into this immediate decision and we point. try and tarnish it rather than thinking he's maybe got a, a larger idea of what he wants to do in the That's game. That's a very good point. Uh, uh, for one, Kevin Durant knows more about basketball than... Uh, than I do, than you do, than yeah. I'm going to say 99.9% .9 of commentators. I'm going to say Kevin Durant probably knows more about basketball uh, than Reggie Miller does. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say that he might know more about basketball than Shaq does. Current, current and NFL's basketball, at the, absolutely. At the very, very, at the bare minimum, they're on the same plane. Reggie Miller and Kevin Durant know about the same about basketball, right? Okay. Therefore, there's probably things that we don't know as a whole, the media does not know, that YouTube does not know, that NBA.com does not know about this decision altogether. Mm -hmm. Maybe, and this is why I'm gonna to allude to Chris Bosh who was saying this uh, recently, I think it might have been Bill Simmons' show, mm -hmm. might have been one of his podcasts. But he said, along the lines of, you don't know that after nine years, maybe Kevin Durant thought, maybe, speculative, but maybe Kevin Durant just thought, I can't get it done here. Mm -hmm. It won't happen. Therefore, I'm not going to stay because it's the respectful thing to do, I'm going to do what's best for me. Now, a lot of people have been saying, you defend Kevin Durant too much, you defend the Golden State Warriors too much, you guys have their, your, their inappropriate parts in your mouth. I think it's a weak move. I've had happily admitted this at this point. I also think it's a smart move. I'm not going to hold it against Kevin Durant. I'm not going to be a bitter media guy sitting here saying, oh, Kevin Durant, oh, what a weak SOB for going to the best team in the league because that's what these guys sound like and like even worse is the ones the fans that sit there and they go They sit there. They go. Uh, I'm not gonna watch the NBA next year You're just running away from what you're running away from a sport that you love to watch because one player went to one team Well people think there's this sense of loyalty for players to their clubs when ultimately unless you're LeBron James Players don't have the ultimate control. The owners can decide in an instant whether they want to uproot and move to make more money or whether they want to support these athletes by bringing in more players. Kevin Durant might have been sitting there thinking, for all we know, we need more support in here at OKC, but maybe the owners didn't want to do that. Maybe mm. the owners had different ideas in their mind. And now we have 
an OKC team who potentially loses two of their star players if Russell Westbrook moves, and people are complaining that there's no loyalty from Kevin Durant, where was the loyalty shown to him when they needed more acquisitions? Like, the thing about basketball is, is it's such a business, but everyone wants to believe that it's all about the sport and it's all about the players and their, no, their ambition to win. No, because you'll have teams that move different areas and you'll have owners who will destroy franchises because it's their own agenda rather than going and building a team that they want to win. And that's what it's all about when it comes to the players. They want to win. They want to leave their legacy if you are one of the best as being someone who got that ultimate accolade. And I just don't get why people can criticize them for it.